Steve Lukather played the rhythm and Van Halen played the solo. And a uh, funny story, he, Van Halen was, uh, was getting prank calls and he was having some trouble with his phone out at his pool where he was when the call came through to, to do that. And it's Quincy Jones trying to get a hold of him and he wasn't hearing anybody on the other end because his phone was kind of funky. Hung up on him like three times before Quincy said, Eddie, it's Quincy! <laughs> I want you to do this session. And Van Halen had it packed that none of the band members would do outside work. It would all stay within the band. And everybody else was out on vacation. He thought, well, hell, I'm just going to run down and do it. He didn't charge them anything. And he didn't think anybody would hear it. <laughs> of course, it became a number one hit. And it was in every single tour. And every tour I did, they put different ridiculous things on me to stand out. <laughs> yeah, these are the kind of things they don't tell you in music school. <laughs> they, the, the first time I went out, Michael wanted things completely different every tour. He, he wanted to wow people. So the first thing they did was to make this leather headdress that had fiber optic uh, fibers coming out maybe a foot or so off my head. And it was a special guitar that was routed in fiber optic around the outside of the guitar and along the guitar neck as well. And uh, I was attached to a computer. So there was a long cable of fiber optics that went to the computer and they would change colors as I walked across the stage. Well, the first time I went out to, to do that, I couldn't see my friends. We were indoors at a rehearsal and they turned the lights out completely and I'm like, wow, this is going to be treacherous. So I went and got blow in the dark tape and at least made fret markers. Now once we were outside, um, well, we, we did some indoor arenas in, on the first tour in America, but almost everything was outside and there was enough ambient light. I didn't actually need those. But nice to know that you could get them if you need them. Um, yeah, and then, then the second, I think it was the Dangerous Tour, they came up with two get-ups that were way more ridiculous. <laughs> the first one was, they fit me for a dragon. They wanted to have this dragon over my shoulders, and I would carry the dragon out as I was playing the beaded solo. And, you know, I was walking so stiff, I thought my back was going to break. It was so heavy. And they fitted that with fiber optics, too, but there wasn't enough to be impressive. It really needed to be covered. And several people said, you look really unhappy playing. <laughs> so, luckily, they had an alternate, which was Viking horns, like you do. <laughs> so, so you might see me, uh, there's some videos with the dragon, that only lasted a few days, I thought I was going to die. Um, the people doing costumes were not performers, so they didn't know what it took. In fact, the dancers, the very first tour, they spent a million dollars on costumes for people on stage. Uh, Michael had a silver belt, they were the first couple songs that had hand-carved scenarios of his life. And after two songs, he'd take that thing off and fling it across the stage. $30,000 is what I put down on my house! You know? <laughs> and all the dancers had these great costumes. They all split out of their pants the first week. And they didn't think, well, God, these guys move. Maybe stretch material would be smart. There were, there was some, some issues. <laughs> million dollars doesn't mean it's going to be right. Uh, yeah, and it's... Boy, I had some ridiculous stuff too. I had fur up the back of my legs, and I had this this one costume that was kind of a tiger one-piece suit, yellow and black stripes. And all of the black stripes they had meticulously sewn in black beads so they would shine in the lights. But wearing it over time, the beads were heavy, and I was always having to yank it back up. These are the traumas I have endured. <laughs> <laughs> Any sympathy? 